In this video, I'll go over some anatomy of the GI tract in Spanish. So obviously this overlaps since I did an abdominal and pelvic anatomy uh, video once upon a time. Um, but there are also some differences and repetition is really good. That's pretty much how you learn is getting more practice, just kind of using the words more and then you'll remember them. All right, so I'm going to say each one in English and then I'll say it in Spanish a couple times. And here's the first term, starting from the mouth and we'll work our way down. So how do you say mouth? La boca. La boca. And each time we say a term, let's put the word the in front of it because you usually do that in Spanish. So 90 plus percent of the time, you're going to want to say the body part instead of just whatever the body part is. All right, so next is throat. La garganta. La garganta. Esophagus. El esófago. El esófago. Stomach. El estómago. El estómago. And then we'll do a few things that are kind of attached to the GI tract, right, since they're quite relevant. So next one is pancreas. El pancreas. El pancreas. Liver. El hígado. El hígado. Gallbladder. La vesícula. La vesícula. And notice that says la vesícula biliar. So optionally you can add biliar to make it especially clear and specific, but you should be fine with just vesicula. All right, what about small intestine, or rather the thin intestine? El intestino delgado. El intestino delgado. Okay, so what about large intestine, or rather thick intestine? El intestino grueso. El intestino grueso. All right, so here's another one. What about colon, if you want to say colon in Spanish? El colon. El colon. So you might hear people say colon, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Um, if, if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments. But even Google Translate says colon, but I think that's just a mistake because the word colon is so common in Spanish, and for some reason they stick with that pronunciation. But since there's no accent mark on the on either of the O's, you'd go to the second to last syllable and stress that, which would be colon. So, you know, unless there's some secret mystery about that, but it seems like the internet doesn't know how to pronounce that, or at least Google doesn't know how to pronounce it. All right, so the next one is rectum. El recto. El recto. Which could be a little confusing since Recto also means straight, just happens to have multiple meanings. So just FYI. And what about anus? El ano. El ano. So that word is the reason why you always need to put the tilde on the ñ when you write año. <laughs> 
and you need to pronounce it correctly so that those words don't end up sounding the same. All right. Um, so I've got a playlist here with a bunch of other anatomical videos. If you want to keep practicing anatomy, it's super useful to know in any, you know, medical setting. If you're talking to Spanish patients, just to know how to say all the different organs and things like that. So check that out. Got a beginner, play, play, uh, beginner Spanish playlist here, super beginner friendly, super high yield. And then another one below about medical Spanish dialogues. All right. Thanks for watching.